Hey, my name is Shay West. And I'm Moses Mosley. And we are the Talking Walkers. You gonna do that? Yeah. Okay. That's what I've been doing all the time. You did that last time? Yeah, all of them all the time. Yeah. For real? Yeah, the whole time. I don't remember that. Every time you did it, you were like, I was like, the whole time. I don't recall. Pull it up. We do have uh, visual evidence, so you know, feel filling free. it up. I got it all day. Night. Let's just restart this. Hi, my name is Sashay West. And I'm Moses Mosley. And we are the Talking Walkers. I swear you did it with me. All so, one motion. We used to have this done. We used to have this down, but then the walking dad took so a break. Long. Yeah. <laughs> like a long. six month break. So we're, we're just Take now getting back. Yeah. <laughs> it so happens. let's get this together. Hi, my name is Sashay West. And I'm Moses Mosley. And we are. You did it again. <laughs> What is we? Uh, okay. Hi, my name is Sashay West. And I'm Moses Mosley. And we are the Talking Walkers. Okay, Yay. We, yeah, we got it. We got it correct. Yay. We got it correct. If you weren't holding me back the whole time, we would have been had that done. Right. Yes, yes, yes. So we're back and we're giving you a review slash recap of uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. Or is yeah. it Fear of the Walking Dead? Fear of the Walking Dead. Fear the Walking Dead. Um, and I'm really excited about this. I'm super excited about it. Uh, so, I mean, I guess let's just get started. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Um, if you are watching this and you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. So if you want to watch it, you want to keep going, just know you're going to learn some things about the episode that you probably don't want to learn yet. Um, just come back and watch it. And we want to hear what you guys got to say in the comments, so feel free to talk back with us. Please. Um, so the first episode opens up on uh, the main character Nick. Uh, see, uh, Nick, he's he's gonna have to grow on me, cause to me it seems like more of the the problem in the situation already. It's like I haven't even had gotten the opportunity to like this guy, mm -hmm. and already he's showing me why I can't like him. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like I respect their situation, everything that's going on, cause clearly they don't have the traditional family situation. So, mm -hmm. and as being a teenager. Naturally, you're gonna be a little rebellious in this respect. So it's like I sympathize with him, but to some degree, it's like, come on, bro, drugs, really? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So the episode opens up with Nick, and he basically wakes up in a cathedral uh, full of crackheads and heroin addicts and drug addicts. Um, he's what a place, right? Yeah, <laughs> he's obviously looking for someone. So he gets up and starts searching around, and uh, is very, very uh, horror film beginning you know the guy wakes up alone and he's searching we've seen this in zombie movies over and the, over again. the beginning walking dead film so of course fear fear of the walking dead would start like that um and he's searching he's searching and he sees i think he saw a dead person i believe so yeah yeah so he sees a dead person and then he finally finds the person who he was looking for his girlfriend i presume and she's eating somebody of all places what did you somebody. yeah what did you what did you think of that that beginning though I thought it pretty much gave me what I was looking for mm -hmm. because I was more or less wondering are they actually going to do the pre-zombie apocalypse thing and show you exactly what happened before everything got hectic. Because if he was used to seeing zombies, he would have responded way differently than what um, he did. And to me, that kind of like it did what it needed to do to reassure me that we're going to see potentially what's going to happen as far as before the apocalypse actually hit the world. I thought it was real interesting because uh, Nick was walking like a zombie in the beginning. Um, and I, I like how the filmmakers tied being a zombie to being on drugs. So maybe there is some kind of correlation that the filmmakers are trying to um, do or the, the production crew or the director was trying to create um, between being a zombie for real life or for a substance versus being a zombie just because, you know, you... you uh, you got bit by another person. But obviously these first zombies didn't get bit. Right, and that's what's going to leave me to wonder, mm -hmm. are they going to go into more in depth with that to show you exactly how it, you get infected mm -hmm. versus how people we already know how they get infected with mm -hmm. The Walking Dead. And that's one question that I was really hoping they were going to answer, and I think they're leading towards it now. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, so we go after that scene, we go into the scene where we meet uh, our main characters, Travis and Madison. Uh, they are basically having a domestic life. She's, they're married. Um, they love each other. Yeah. 
I can tell that like mm-hmm. they're really like even though the situation appears to be like very deconstructive, mm-hmm. it appears that they really do care about each other and sincerely. It was interesting though, uh, as far as the cin- cinematography goes, the camera shots during the first scene was um, they shot in a, um, a smooth cam, so all the shots were really smooth and not shaky. But when we got into the the family domestic environment, they became shaky. Um, yeah. So I wonder if the filmmakers were trying to let us know that this is about to get destroyed and this is the new the new normal for us. Right in the beginning, just with the camera, I thought that was interesting. So maybe, maybe. Um, and it seems like every all of that is about to come crashing down. But yeah. Travis, uh, he started off as a great guy, but then you start to realize that he got issues with his kids. He has yeah, like he has yeah. like kids over in a whole other family situation, uh-huh. and it's like okay, now, I'm not sympathizing with this guy either. It's like yeah. I'm learning a little too much about these characters mm. before I can even get a chance to get to like them, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I don't want to judge him, you know, cause, but it seems like, you know, he's not handling his previous child situation very well, and he's just trying to get rid of his problems with that by trying to create a better situation with a new kid. Mm. And that's something I don't agree with. So I don't know well, what he's Well, I'm just really interested in seeing um, the race, race relations within this show because it, they're opening up um, real different. And, uh, yeah, we see we see interracial relationships throughout the whole show. We see Matt, uh, Madison, and Travis. We see Alicia. their daughter, um, which later on in the episode she has a black boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then we see, uh, yeah, that's I think that's about it as far as the uh, interracial relationship. So I'm I'm interested to see, and I'm interested to know if those are even Travis's kids or yeah. are they his kids or I don't? Or, or well, is he the stepdad? He's the stepdad, clearly. Because you they know, they don't respect him. They don't respect You're not him my one. dad. And the girl Allison, um, Allison, she doesn't even call him dad. She literally calls him Travis. Mm-hmm. You know, and she says it with such a level of hate and disdain that it doesn't, it doesn't even sound like she was mad at him. She just plain doesn't like him. Mm-hmm. You know? This show almost it began like a drama versus a horror movie. It was more more. Uh, I don't know. It was, it was like the frightening part was the realities of life. And I'm thinking that's <laughs> true. And it's like, there's so little zombie action in this. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking they did, the creators did that on purpose. Because mm-hmm. we're getting more into like uh, a drama, like you said, mm-hmm. versus the actual action in it. And I'm thinking that's going to like give us the what we were missing pretty much in The Walking Dead. Well, and, or it's just in The Walking Dead fashion where you begin really slow. And then you come to this boom, 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 boom true. ending. Although in a recap for next week's episode, I, or I guess for the season, it was kind of dramatic, but it wasn't like dramatic, dramatic. Yeah. Like I didn't see zombies eating and all that kind of stuff. True. But then again, there's not as many zombies in this world as in The Walking Dead world. Exactly right. And I'm thinking that's why they wrote it in this proportion and mm-hmm. why it's going to pretty much lead on that, that line. Mm-hmm. Because they're showing you exactly how people were before it got to the hectic situation that it is now Mm -hmm. and I'm thinking they're gonna keep on going that route so we can build up with it so it can lead us back into the Walking Dead to figure out exactly how the diffusion that went on between people and the zombies you know once they got more into society also also well next in the episode uh, we see Madison barging like Superwoman yeah uh, to to uh, the hospital room where her son is getting interrogated yeah uh, by the police so I after he was, uh, we didn't say this, but after he was in the church, he ran outside and got hit by a car, and that's how he got sent to the hospital. And they're asking him all these questions about drugs on the neighborhood, in that neighborhood. And Madison runs in there. Is he a suspect? Super mom. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I wonder if this is her character. Is she going to be like almost like an Andrea for The right. Walking Dead? Exactly. Um, right. yeah. Is she going to be that superhero woman coming to save her kids' lives every day? You know, you never know. Honestly, with this, it seems like she does want to be that parent that helps their child to not completely mm-hmm. give up on him, even though he's in a really bad situation. But at the same time, I think it's going to lead down a road where she's starting to question mm-hmm. her parenting and question if she really wants to put this much effort into what seems to be a lost cause. She seems like she may be the the of the show, right? The itch, <laughs> you know, the itch. <laughs> She, I can see kinda, that. I can see that. I can she's see. She's kind of like mean. Yeah, she seems like. And yeah. she really, she's the only one who's not listening. 
Right. Too, you know, because like I hear, like you said, with Travis, he's trying to like get through to her and mm -hmm. try to get her to, you know, keep being positive and and just to keep having faith. And it seems like she's just shooting him down. You mm -hmm. know, even though it's, it shows that she does love him and care about him, mm -hmm. it just seems like she doesn't want to hear anything anymore. You know, it's like she's just so pigheaded about it. One of those people who love but don't don't hear. Exactly right. And the student Tobias actually is spilling a lot of knowledge. Um, he he basically saw a news um, news article and was like. I don't know. There's, there's something. I can't remember what he said. <laughs> Me neither. What did he say? <laughs> he said something to avail of there's a lot going on in the world mm -hmm. to the point where it's like, why yeah. should I even care? They anymore? don't know where the virus is coming from. Exactly right. Yeah. They, yeah. The, did my accent sound like a? It, it sounded Latin. more J Jamaican. They didn't know what my. Oh no. That's, Everything that's, you say in an accent sounds Jamaican to me. I have a little, I have a couple of issues with my <laughs> accents. Um, so we go past that. Tobias is scaring everybody in the, in the show. We're thinking, oh crap, the zombies are about to show up, uh, or the walkers for The Walking Dead. Um, and we get back to Nick, who wake who wakes up is awakened by a nightmare. Right. Uh, and uh, basically, he is questioned by Travis after that. And that makes Travis go check out the church. Who goes ch and check out a church full of zombies by themselves? Walkers, full of walkers by themselves. He's clearly trying to be the hero in the situation. And it's like he's doing a little too much for me. Because mm -hmm. he went there and he found blood. He found various other chewed up pieces. And it's like he's still like staying there. He's trying still to, walking he's through. He's still walking through. Like that would have been the decline for me. Mm -hmm. I would have jetted out of there mm -hmm. as soon as I saw that. But I think there's a, there's a thin line between hero and dummy. And he kind of crossed yeah, over and was a dummy. Yeah, he's yeah. He's, yeah. Once I saw that first spill blood, I'd be afraid that I would be framed for something. Not even, let alone the zombies, eating, the walkers eating people. I'm thinking as soon as I touch that blood, I'm infected with whatever's going on. <laughs> there. And I'm but you don't know it's an effect. They don't know it's an infection yet. There's such a thing as AIDS in this world. Oh, and I'm thinking well, you along touch it, those yeah. lines. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, but uh, so it was, that was crazy when uh, he was looking at looking through the building. Then he goes and tells his wife, Madison, about it. And she's like, I want to go there. Why do you want to go there? But I, I understand she wants to see where her son was and see what he was going through and see what the habit that was controlling him and taking him away from, taking her baby from her. Um, but I still think that was crazy for both of them to go through, go into that And that I'm thinking, place. I'm thinking she pretty much had her, had drew her line when she dug through the book and she found the needle and the heroin in it. And I'm thinking like as a parent, she just completely mm -hmm. just gave up at that moment, you know. And again, um, the, the, the camera movement during those scenes were, was really stable. Yeah. Um, specifically when Travis was going through by himself. When she came, came into the picture, I can't remember if it was stable or a little shaky. I'm sure it was shaky because she hasn't um, admitted to it yet, but <laughs> it became more stable because Travis started to believe Nick and then they started to re reunite their relationship right um, yeah so that was cool and it's cool that he accepts him as his dad now and I can honestly respect that it's like he literally had to put himself in danger in order to get his, get his respect because it seems like everybody was giving up on him but him mm -hmm. and I'm thinking he sees that now so do you think uh, Maddie's boyfriend who is black hey <laughs> is going to uh is going to uh, turn into a zombie because that was kind of weird. I'm thinking because he just disappeared out of nowhere. <laughs> he's already bitten and she's going to find him in some type of very heartfelt, sad mm -hmm. embrace. You probably. think so? You think I, it's going to be sad? I think it's going to be sad, very sad because it seems like she, he was the only outlet for her. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm thinking they're going to want to take that away from her in terms of character development so she can actually become who she's going to become. And, and it seems like he was a good boyfriend. It doesn't he really seem like he, was, like he was a great guy. He um, really one did. of the people who were like Trying stand to steer him up all the time. Yeah, he seemed like he did, yeah. actually had his had her best interest at heart. You know? mm -hmm. He drew a little heart on her and everything. I was like, oh, look at this guy right here. He, he, he's my hero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, they played a joke on us. Uh, we thought the principal was infected in that one scene. Yeah, and that was, was so sitting, funny. Sitting he was just there. sitting there eavesdropping on and everybody. And they were like, Going in, I was so afraid that we was gonna lose that main character. Already, you know. That would have been interesting, though. It would have been funny. Yeah, hey, hi, she's <laughs> not in the show. You thought she was in it. That would have been kind of good. I would have died laughing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, for some reason, I don't like her. For some reason, I don't know why yet. But for some reason, she just doesn't rub me the right 
the right way. Yeah. Her character. It's just like, she seems like she's going down a bad road before mm. she even gets on the good road. Yeah. And it's like, I can't even sympathize with her because in terms of parenting, she seems to be doing a bad job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seems it does. It, seem, it, does. <laughs> it seems like it. Uh, yeah. But I love how, uh, again, uh, when we see Travis walking from the, he escapes from the hospital. Uh, oh, I was thinking the guy next to him the whole time was going to turn into a zombie. The old guy. Oh, right, right. Yeah. But we don't know if he did turn into a walker. Exactly. They said he flatlined. Yeah. But so even the walkers, they flatlined anyway. But in The Walking Dead, they, yeah. they're, everybody's infected. So exactly. when they die, they turn. But he was kind of older. So I don't know if he may have been past, you know, oh, something that may have infected the bloodline or something. I don't know. But right. uh, it was interesting because they took him downstairs and uh, all hectic ran loose so yeah well, uh, i think that's a good storyline that we'll probably hear more about later or it might be a new segment on the new news channel or something right um but yeah so as he's leaving the hospital he goes to the drug um oh we didn't know he was a drug dealer to yeah. meet the drug dealer yeah and he was actually introduced to the parents as a really stand-up kid and that's um, what really got me mm -hmm. it's like seriously you're you're appearing like the stand-up great kid amazing person you know great influence on your son mm -hmm. and then you turned out to be the drug dealer had dial all the way down and he's just trying to falsely comfort him mm -hmm. to get him to buy more drugs and yeah it's like it's it's great acting but as far as me having sympathy for this guy he's a villain in my eyes well he was a villain was a um villain. but so he he basically talks to nick and sent, um takes nick on a, a trip uh, i guess a little road trip, trip to to an area in the city where they shot um, Chris Brown's No BS video. <laughs> video. I know, I peeped that. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, he pulls out a gun on him and almost kills him. I was literally shocked. Like, mm -hmm. I, even I didn't see that one coming. But guess who died? The black guy. He did. The hey, black guy died wow. first. The first death that you see on this television show is a black guy. <laughs> and I mean, normally in the, um, <laughs> in the horror films, we are the first people to die. Uh, so I guess they're just following in the footsteps, but I was a little upset. Of great cinema. Of great <laughs> so much great cinema. Speaking, I, speaking from experience, mm -hmm. as informally done a movie mm -hmm. where I was actually the first guy to get killed and I was the only black guy, it's such a smart route to go. I mean, I. I smart love. route? Why is it smart? Because it angers me. <laughs> And I don't want to get into it. I just hope, I mean, uh, it, maybe it's realistic. Uh, uh, I don't live in, uh, is it, it's in Los Angeles. I don't live in Los Angeles right now. Yeah. Um, but so maybe it's a little, maybe they're basing it off characters that are realistic. But I, I, I don't know. I felt a little, some type of way that the black guy was a drug, drug dealer and that he died first. I um, just have to put that, put that out in the world, the universe. I'm sorry. Had to say it. Um, but yeah, so he 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 tried to kill uh, Nick, and Nick ends up turning the gun on him and killing him, um, and leaving him there. He calls his parents, he calls Travis actually, and of course Madison shows up with him. Hey ma, and of course uh, Madison shows up with him, you know, uh, doing her Superwoman, Wonder Woman thing, and yeah. uh, they try and you know save the day, and they find they go to the car, and long behold, he's not there. Yeah, that was like to the point where I knew, okay, clearly we he's a zombie. Yeah, this we, is where it started. Yeah. It was either he was a zombie or he, he had a mean, like, crawling game. He was yeah. like crawling for his life. But there life. was no blood, too, though. <laughs> and it was like, I'm looking for the blood. I'm like, clearly that gun was faulty. Like, so maybe he, like, licked lick the blood up. No, I guess that's that the issue. Clean. Where was the blood? Yeah, I, I'm, that's an hey. Easter egg right there. That's an Easter egg, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and also, another issue I had was in the church when they went back to. Um, check it. What happened to all the uh, the the dead bodies and the the walkers? You know, true. Yeah. What happened to them? Uh, Nick's girlfriend. Yeah, I wonder yeah. where she's at. Did now. she infecting? Figure out people? how to open the door and walk out, or you know, I don't know. I I thought that was interesting, but yeah. So yeah. Uh, then you know the big boom boom 
when he wakes up and we see him walking towards him. Thank God he walks slow. I know. It's like, I'm thinking like they're, they're keeping that continuity as far as slow movement yeah. goes. American like, walkers. American walkers. Yeah, it's not the Resident Evil Tokyo mm, walkers. Where the British. With a sprinter, yeah, British. With a sprinter, <laughs> you know. So I would much see. rather be in an American apocalypse versus a, a British, British apocalypse. apocalypse. Oh, yeah. no. I do not yeah. know what to do with that. No. Um, I'm fast, but not that fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was interesting because they, they ran him over with the car. He's, he yeah. kept come, He kept waking up, and us Walker fans, we know you got to shoot him in the head. Even zombie fans, you got to shoot him in the head. Clean they shot. will not die until you you, kill, you squish the head or something. So until they finally killed him, you know they were still in disbelief. Uh, I think uh, Madison was still in disbelief. She was more in shock. I'm mm -hmm. thinking, and Travis seemed somewhat accepting of it. Yeah, it didn't seem like he was too. Surprised by it. I think he believed him earlier though. Yeah. Yeah, like he's the only one that actually showing that he actually believes in him And I'm thinking that's gonna lead them to getting a lot closer as well mm -hmm. Because it seems like to me that he's actually starting to get through to him mm -hmm. And I think he could potentially bring on Allison as well and help the you know the family unit get together I can stay together. Let's stay together I think um, but you know I really do think that this zombie apocalypse is going to bring their family together. <laughs> and that's the sad all those thing. issues, <laughs> all those issues. Thank the walkers. <laughs> thank the walkers. They're bringing you together. You're going to be happy now. But I'm, I'm, I think what's going to, well, we'll save that for the predictions video. But um, yeah, so it, did you like the episode? I liked it. I got what I wanted to to know out of it, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking it's gonna um, the whole series itself is gonna go more into a informative versus super high action series, and I think it's gonna fill in a lot of those gaps and those questions that The Walking Dead left us, and that's why I think they really they really wanted to accomplish with the series. Mm -hmm. A one out of ten for me, I would say is a. Uh a seven. I was about to say that. Yeah, it was, was like a seven that. because I, I wanted more zombie. I wanted that principal to be a, a walker. I wanted, I you know, I wanted that guy to, to show up out of nowhere and bite the neck of the dad. <laughs> I wanted some kids to get killed. You know, I wanted something. You know, some kids? Some, that that would have made her, like, the show really good. Right. <laughs> some, you know, some nastiness. I want blood. That's why I was watching it. I wanted to be afraid. Fear the Walking Dead. Give us some fear. Live up to the name. But you know what? It's the beginning, and exactly. soon, hopefully, it will happen. Hopefully. 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 But anyways, tell us what you think in the comments. We want to have more conversations with you. Um, and follow us. My name is at the Shea West. Mine is on Instagram. Moses Mosley, all one word. Mm -hmm. Instagram and Twitter the same. Yeah, follow us. Talk to us on there. Let us know your your thoughts on the episodes. And uh, keep watching. Subscribe. Please.